Hey guys, how are we doing? Back with another video from Seth the Programmer. And this is how strong is God Goku compared to Marvel. Or Marvel, however you want to pronounce it. I don't know what I'm doing with this intro, I'm trying to be funny, but I'm not. I have a Deadpool hat. It's Marvel related. Topical. Yeah. I'm like super programmer Chuck. Chuck here once again, and I'm, uh, I'm talking like a 13 year old because I like to familiarize myself with my viewers, you you know, who are basically man children. And even though I'm a 35 year old fucking grown man, but uh, you know, basically, this topic will basically touch up on how strong would Goku be in the Marvel universe, my super right. programmers. So let's get right into the money. I mean, the the views, the the video, yeah. <laughs> so uh, start off, Seth, with the uh, you know the main topic of the video. Uh, Incredible. Okay. I'm, not, I'm, 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 I'm going to leave that in the video because I think it's funny. But um, what's up, everyone? It's your host, Seth the Programmer, and um, we got the the douchebag Chuck the Cyber Cuck here, obviously. Uh, obviously. So sorry for not uploading uh, for like three days. I'm going to upload every day. For the I love watching week. these. Like, that. like this is like two right, years like afterwards, isn't it? Here, but the main reason Seth was not able to upload for a few days is because he got back from the doctor. And, you know, after he saw this YouTube comment, you know, it just gave him a new form of leprosy that was never known oh, to man until now. He will touch up on this in a future video, which I believe will drop on Thursday. So, <laughs> be on the lookout for that. Let's keep going. Um, but yeah, today's video is going to be, how does Goku stack up to the Marvel Universe? Class. Like, uh, Class. Does he fucking solo? No. Uh, does he wear <laughs> I mean, who does he compare to? It's, it's Goku it doesn't solo the whole verse, then... Who does he like compare to in terms of power? Like, who would you say is basically the Goku of the Marvel universe when it comes to powers? Um, Chuck is going to be doing a lot of the Marvel calculations, but I'm going to be doing a lot of the Dragon Ball actually comics. I'm not a weep. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of the Dragon Ball explanations instead, and I'm going to make be sense. That's cool. Trying to familiarize you guys with it because I know a lot of you are mainly Dragon Ball fans and not comic fans, but I'm going to mm -hmm. try to explain it as best as I can. So let's get right into it. Okay, guys, so we're going to start this off. We're going to be actually kind of lowballing Goku just for simplicity's sake and just to make it, you know, quick because we're going to be talking about a lot of characters in this. So to start off with Goku's speed, um, we know that, you know, Beerus uh, traveled galaxies and basically under a few minutes and he's done a lot of other feats. You know, Goku and Beerus, their clash, you know, traveled the entire universe in a yeah. few seconds or whatever. And, you know, we know Champa, who was suppressing himself to be weaker than Goku, also, you know, leaped from the universe to the Kaioshin realm, which is outside of the universe. So, really, uh, a lot of people have come to the conclusion that's about quadrillions of times faster than light. Uh, there are a lot of high ballers that say septillions of times, or whatever the fuck. But for the sake of this video, we'll just say quadrillions of times, because that's what's mainly accepted for, you know, traveling galaxies. And okay, of time, okay. Or we can even say quintillions, really, for, like, a Super Saiyan blue forms. But basically, quadrillions, quintillions times faster than light. In terms of DC, um, we know that, you know, Super Saiyan God versus Beerus, they were going to destroy the Dragon Ball macrocosm, which, yes, it is a macrocosm, which is about three universes in size and Jesus about three Christ. punches. So that means that each punch that they were throwing was about so is at this, least this half universe. Showing how strong Dragon Goku is. And and then, then, so, you know, but these the people in Marvel. How <laughs> can times 10? Goku is at least universal by the time he's Super Saiyan Blue at the end of the Goku Black arc. This is pretty much just a fact. I mean, you have the narrators, all the fucking gods, all the Kais. Everyone just says that they're universal. And a lot of people were like, you know, Beerus was there or whatever. But we've debunked this in a lot of videos. Um, Beerus being there doesn't actually nullify the feat. It just kind of halves it because they're both hmm. exerting the same amount of force. So Goku is at least universal in his Super Saiyan Blue form and at least quadrillions to quintillions of times the speed of light. So now we're going to find characters in the Marvel verse that kind of represent that power. So similar, what's like right here? Cool. That, we need to cover the subject. Can Goku solo the Marvel verse? I think Fuck we should get no. that. Oh, God, okay. We need, to, we need to get that no. out of the verse. Let's get that out of the way first. Doesn't make it past life. Odin. I'll tell you guys that right now. Okay. Doesn't make it past any of the high sky fathers. Not even the celestials. Not even the like the cosmic abstracts. So, so uh, Marvel, no. <laughs> Marvel has the one above all. Is that correct? Yeah, dude. And, and so like, the Mar yeah. My he, girlfriend was him. telling me about this ball. character. <laughs> and, you know, you have the Living Tribunal, who's, like, hyper-versal. So, I mean, if you, even if you, like, even if you My really high let's say he's, like, low multiverse, <laughs> like, thousands of times universal, 
the Living Tribunal would still shit on him because he's hyperversal. Oh, or damn. you don't even need the Living Tribunal because the fucking high tier Celeste took a solo like like ninety percent of the verse. Right? Uh, <laughs> and then you know the one above all, he's omnipotent, obviously, and you have Thanos, Daddy, uh, with the fucking Infinity Gauntlet, and there's a lot of just crazy characters that Goku just cannot compete with. So he cannot solo Marvel, unfortunately, but he cannot. <laughs> yeah, basically, we're making this clear because people think that we think Goku can beat anyone, which is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's like, it's like we state that he's universal and shit. How does that mean he beats everybody? Are you saying that there's no characters like besides you know, Universal or, <laughs> or what? <laughs> Goku's but, not even a favorite character, but he's still really strong. Doesn't mean he can beat a- anyone. Yeah, you I mean, can have a favorite like, character, but you've got to be like, you know. know. We know what we've seen. We're not screw we attack. Okay, yeah. Goku is... Goku Oof, doesn't have limits, but it off. doesn't mean he's infinite, alright? <laughs> or, you know, we're not like Varian Comics who, you know, says that he's unbeatable. <laughs> so let's uh, let's just do a short little synopsis. I don't think we should make it too long, but let's yeah. do a short little synopsis. Who do you think he compares to in the Marvelverse, and why? Uh, well, essentially, we're going to start off with, you know, like, <laughs> most of the common tiers in the Marvelverse. So, you know, we have three-level characters like Luke Cage, you know, Iron Fist, Daredevil, Daredevil. you know, who can right. basically beat up, like, you know, gangs of people. Fucking Deadpool. And, yeah, and they have, like, you know, some of peak human, like, performance, like Captain America. He can lift a lot of weight, and, you know, he can, like, dodge bullets and shit like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and then, you know, we take a step further. We, we go to the superhumans and, you know, like, uh, metahumans, you know, like Spider-Man, you know, like, some of the mutants, like, the, uh, like Wolverine, you know, they can lift a lot spider-man you know have shown that he can you know lift portions of buildings and then you know we take another step further to like you know i guess the heralds right the heralds are basically like characters who are basically capable of blowing up planets if not up to uh, source systems and galaxies that's a big so, joke by the way damn yeah the street level too <laughs> street, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey i feel gangsters to like and there, but yeah, so much destruction yeah right and so, for example, Silver Surfer, you know, he's able to blow up stars and, you know, has been shown to survive sources of exploding oh, on he, him. He also got knocked out by random thugs, but... Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> did, you, did you just laugh? <laughs> did, yeah. Did you just laugh? Oh, wait. Oh, well, yeah, we're not supposed to laugh, dude, because people you, you think are, that we're being assholes, right? Oh, God. <laughs> you're a douchebag. Don't ever laugh again. Just get wasted. Oh man, there's so much sarcasm and like shade being thrown in this right, video. Like, <laughs> and I don't understand who at, but it's funny. So Silver Server is one of mo- the most prevalent heralds. You can tell when these videos are made because someone like, says something. He's pretty shiny, you know. He can blow up stars, shiny. <laughs> and he has many sources of little feats, and even higher when he becomes amped by the power cosmic. And you know, Thor's around the you know that range of power, Gladiator, you know, Beta Ray Bill. They're all basically heralds, right? Mm-hmm. And then we have people like Tyrant, who are basically high heralds, if not like low Skyfather tier. Okay, so are you saying that Goku is above herald level? Uh, yeah, at the very least, yeah, at least above Silver Surfer and Thor and stuff like that. Hmm. Now that we've kind of established okay. who's stronger, than that, let's talk about who he's kind of like equal to, mm-hmm. and who's kind of like maybe who's slightly above, above him. him. Okay, so as I said, you know, with the high heralds or the low Skyfather tier would be like Tyrant, you know, who showed like galactic feats casually by fighting against Galactus. Right. Uh, but Tyrant, you know, basically is so strong that like all these heralds couldn't do shit to him, right? And Galactus yeah. had trouble putting him down. And even Thanos, you know, who's like, you know, fucking babe, babe you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chuck, Chuck is a very big uh, Thanos dick yeah. sucker, by the way. Boy, yeah. but you're always riding on Broly's rod. Anyways, Tyrant <laughs> is so strong that, like, all these heralds, like, Silver Surfer, and, you know, like, they couldn't do shit to him. Galactus had trouble fighting him. And even Thanos, you know, like, couldn't do shit to him either, even when he was amped. So you think Goku's <laughs> on Tyrant level? God, Goku should be at the very least above Tyrant, and Tyrant should be, like, at the very least above Usagi Vegeta, who showed a Galactic Plus level feat against Buhan. Probably higher than that, I'd say, because if okay. we... Because we highball Vegito, he'd probably be like multi galaxy, but Tyrant should be above that. Because okay. he was basically universal. So then, like, after that, we get to, like, the Sky Fathers, or, like, you know, uh, such as, you know, Odin, Zeus, you know, uh, Vishnu. And mm-hmm. so Odin showed uh, multi galactic feats in his, you know, his earlier uh, appearances, such right. as when he fought Seth, you know, this little bitch right here that I'm talking to. <laughs> like, like, in the fight between Odin and Seth, you know, they basically threatened to destroy the universe they were fighting in. You know, they destroyed galaxies, and, you know, it's basically resonated across every plane of reality and also toward the fabric of the multiverse. Oh, damn. So would you say that's, like, Super Saiyan God level, or would you say that's greater? Because, like you just said, it resonated across every reality. Is yeah, that what you just said? Yeah. Okay, so it, Goku... That was stated. 
Go did it also did it resonate and also with the entire it, like, universe? It also tore the fabric of the multiverse, which so we know Marvel has many more. Yeah, it, it oh. basically affected the multiverse. Okay, so which, Goku versus Beerus, they shook a macrocosm, but these guys shook a fucking reality. Yeah, that's crazy. Basically. So, and Goku, Astro Galaxy is a side effect, yeah. So Goku is not on that level quite hmm. yet. Well, at least as a Super Saiyan god, but the Super Saiyan blue form... I think we've discussed this before. Even if you, even if you highballed the Super Saiyan Blue form to be like fucking, what is it? Like you stack, you say his base form equals the God form, whatever, and then you stack all the forms onto it, and then you say Blue is ten times that, and you say he's like fucking four thousand times stronger than Super Saiyan God, right? The high, like highballed. Would you say that that's strong enough to take that on? Uh, I mean, uh, it depends because, like, Odin, like, he has many, like, superior feats to this. This is, like, one of his casual feats, you know, like, Goku should be around that level if we, like, mm. highball him. Like, right, if we stack the fucking Super Saiyan forms in blue and all that. Yeah. And yeah, then, like, with Kaioken, should... do you think he yeah. could Oof. maybe chase Ooh. the tides, or do you think he'd still have a disadvantage? He'd probably still have a disadvantage because yeah. Odin is fucking, he has a lot of, like, abilities, you know? Yeah. He um, has a lot of hacks. Hacks. A lot of manipulation hacks. Yeah, so basically Odin, um, he's basically able to nullify universal levels of power like Beerus did. He also, like, he literally tore a realm from, like, you know, like, a universe or whatever. Uh, you Jesus know, basically Christ. be like, uh, if Beerus, like, fucking separated hell entirely or heaven entirely from the, you know, the macrocosm and put it somewhere right. else or whatever. Uh, he also made, like, a universe-sized prison. Um, so are you saying that Odin would be more like Beerus level? That's yeah, what definitely. I was thinking. So, so Goku like, wouldn't be quite there yet. No. No, and Odin has Odin like time seem like he has magic and on of course he has Beerus like, like. Uh, I mean he has all these runes and enchantments that he can, you know, basically access. And he also has his destroy armor which makes him a lot stronger than that. So, oh, so that's cool. Is, is that why Goku they got the design ball? for the thing Okay, so if we compared Goku, four, it should be like one. around the mid sky baller like tier, you know, so like not quite on Odin's level at his you know at his best, but definitely around that range of power. But he should definitely be at least above Tyrant. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe Galactus in his, like, average, you know, like, level of power. Because, you know, Galactus can get a lot stronger, you know, from eating plants and shit like that. And, yeah, he's also really, really strong in the new comics as well. As I said, Odin has very comparable feats to Beerus, you know, and that's not even without his, you know, destroy armor and shit like that. So so Goku would be low Sky Father tier. And, yeah, low uh, Miss Sky Father tier. Yeah. So I think we should wrap it up there pretty much. We kind of answered the question. But, so, mm -hmm. he could solo the main Avengers... Uh, right, any of yeah. the movie adventures would get shit on. <laughs> like, anything higher, you kind of like... He could beat the Herald, he could beat Tyrant, like Silver Surfer. Like Silver Surfer. Right, yeah. um, but he stops at Odin, right? Yeah. So I know people will probably say that Silver Surfer and will be able to use like their hacks on Goku, but I will, I will say this right now, though. Silver Surfer has never been able to use those hacks on higher-level beings like Adam Warlock or Thanos or Tyrant himself, right? So hacks, you know, it would be a no limit fallacy to imply that he can use, like, his hacks, you know, to, like, basically fucking manipulate his mo molecules or drain his that's energy, like, you know? That's like saying Beerus <laughs> could fucking Hawkeye everybody. Yeah. yeah <laughs> which, is, which I even fucking covered in one of my videos. Uh, like, so, cool. Silver Surfer can use these, like, abilities on someone as higher level than him, then he won't be able to use it on Goku, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and as an ending note, this topic was originally going to be covered by, uh, by Wank the Programmer and Rats Explained. Oh my god, holy shit, that's just slipped out of my tongue right there. I meant to say, uh, <laughs> It was a collab between uh, Seth the Programmer and Comics a Rat. <coughs> oh my god, dude, you're getting to cut this out. Like, this shit is yeah, just I'm out sorry. Of yeah, yeah. Um, I'm anyways, oh my god, I need to reiterate that again. So, this is basically a collab between uh, Seth the Programmer and, you know, someone who, um, you know, basically wanted to low key dip out of the conversation, you know, uh, that they didn't want to participate, even though uh, he basically cucked down. And, um,. <laughs> You know, and said, hey, you want to do a collab, bro? Sure. So I, I made the debunk, and Comics explained, like, he, he caught on to it, and he, and he threatened to copyright strike me for it. Like, he was threatening me. And uh, he was trying to, like, bully yeah. me, you know, this fucking 800k YouTube channel. I'm like, bro, I'm still going to drop the fucking video and shit on you regardless. So he's like, oh, oh uh, that aside, do you want a collab? <laughs> huh? gave, gave me a Skype and everything, and we talked about a video, and then he just fucking blew me off. I don't know if he's so the guy that did the debunk what, on but... his... Goku, Here's the video Superman, that we're going to do truth. anyways. I think I, it is, Chuck's, it? Chuck's a way better debater than that low tier anyway, so this is probably way better okay. than that would have been. But <laughs> anyways, guys. Hey, I don't know about Franklin Richards, bro. But, but, but Seth, he has more subs! <laughs> oh, wait.
way, we're still laughing, dude. Oh shit, we're gonna trigger. Oh, oh, dang. Stop laughing. Stop it. We're, we're gonna trigger our depressed viewers that hate dude. us when we laugh, man. You're arrogant like, piece of shit. assholes. Dude. I know, arrogant dude. Piece of shit. You keep laughing. Um. Anyways, guys. Amazing. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Be sure to check out this Cuck Boys channel. Uh, <laughs> no, don't don't you laugh. Don't laugh on my fucking stream. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. I completely <laughs> forgot. Yeah. We already got we already got dislikes for that one. Thank you. Um. <laughs> anyways, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time. Peace out, hoes. Class. I knew there was someone, but they were. Yeah, it was class. So Odin's like, yeah, but Odin does seem like very beerity, doesn't he? Like, it's like... Ow. The destruction that it could cause. Boop, 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 boop. Class. You're absolutely class, so... Yes. Goku could not beat all of the Marvel Universe. <laughs> but he could slap the Avengers. I like that. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to check the DC one out next. I think. May as well. While we're on the uh, topic of yeah, these videos. But until then, thank you guys very much for watching. What did you guys think of that? What did you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys. It's all you guys. Next time.